every transaction comes a sweet satisfaction as I cement my place in history. Hello, everybody, and welcome to I Sell Comics, the weekly comics report with Mike and Ming, broadcasting live from Chainsaw Bob's Secret Stash. My name is Ming Chen. Sitting to my right is Mike Zapsick. Everybody, say hello, Mike Zapsick. That was very measured, Ming. <laughs> hello, everybody. How we doing? Ah, uh, um, hello. I. What? Where am I? Who am I? What you day are is it? Ming I, uh, Chen, and uh, you are here in Red Bank. For I Sell Comics, right. which is amazing. Uh, last week, we went on without you. The yes. show must go on, Ming. Right. How'd it go? It went great. Uh, it... Christian's awesome. Christian has a lot of I saw you, culture you stuff. You roped him in. Yeah, we did. <laughs> Wait, was he looking bored back there? Our, uh, our intrepid engineer, Christian Cordes. No. Are you kidding? He's got so much passion for the medium that I was like, let's, let's grab him in. Or was he doing the thing he usually does? He starts chiming in from the back, and I'm like, bro, just sit down and grab a mic. Yeah, well, he forgot to bring his microphone because he's like, I'm, I'm bringing two microphones. So like, I'm like, all right, all right you should have so brought three. So got him to the table. Next time, three microphones. All right, did everyone enjoy him? Yeah, people were, were loving him. Awesome, yeah. awesome. So, uh, yeah, three uh, three cities, 36 hours. Um, I'm I'm in Red Bank right now. I, I <laughs> think you're in Red Bank, yes. You you. Suppose you're in Red Bank. That's oh, nice. I'll tell you, I'll, I'll tease the. Uh, I it was at the. Uh, Mary and Paul Fiction. The uh, they get the coffee and um, the Wolfman's like. like oh hey. yeah, <laughs> yeah, Wolf. Hey, I, yeah, I get the good. I get the good coffee because I like to taste it. Yes. Yeah, so I'm gonna be all over the map today. I literally, fl- I took the last keep, flight. Uh, out oddly of enough, last night you're like weird. But I'm going to keep him on track. This is um, weird. This good, is good you're luck. usually trying to keep me on track. So good luck with that. You're like, are we going at 9 a.m. tomorrow? I looked at my watch. She's like, maybe I can catch the last flight out of Houston. <laughs> uh, that's dedication, folks. That's dedication that Ming Chen has for I Sell Comics. And I do. Not enough to keep him here to do it. You know, last week, but yes, he's back now. So, uh, and I'll, 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 my my horror stories from Houston were. Remember, I was grounded. In right. Houston forever. Yeah, can we talk about this real quick? We actually just talked about this. Uh, it comes up quite often. Yeah, but, this uh, is it's one of the funnier stories. Comic Palooza, Houston, Texas, 2016. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Sunday night, cons over. Uh, it's time to go. Yeah, I had to. I had to leave. You guys were sticking around. Uh, Me and Brian. Brian were there. even even Brian, hung Brian out. made it. it. It was great. But you had to go. I was like, all right, we'll see you later, Mike. Yeah, Brian. I had to open up the stash the next day. Ca- so catching what like a seven thirty flight. I was catching. Know, uh, I think it was a seven o'clock flight. Cape. And uh, I I went to Houston, uh, the Houston airport. It's um, I forget the name of the airport. What's the name? Uh, George George Bush Airport. It's George Bush <laughs> Airport. Uh, well. Bush. Our, our president or one of two so um i ended up there and i'm waiting for our flight and i see these dark clouds rolling in and i'm like oh crap uh, and um lightning strikes all around the airport it was really really weird and i'm like well that, that doesn't bode well so right before it gets really dark one more plane comes in and lands on the runway where i'm supposed to be and they they pull them in, okay. and they tell us that our flight's going to be delayed because they had to reroute the uh, the Air Canada into where we were. Okay. So I was like, son of a bitch. If it weren't for these Canadians, I'd be getting <laughs> the hell out of here because we got bumped because— What, do you, I, South Park blame Canada? I'm, hell yeah. Okay. I mean, well, yeah, Canada's so many woes. Uh, so and I love you, Canada. You guys are awesome. So— uh, we're uh, we're waiting there, delayed. and I'm waiting, and delayed, and lightning strikes, and it's the lightning strikes are hitting all around the airport for five straight hours. It looked Every, cool, at least. It was it was beautiful, but it was they were like striking the tarmac, like yeah. But back up, um, you were on the plane. No, not yet. You're not on the plane. We had not gotten on the plane. Okay. You're in the you're in the terminal. You're so we're in the, the terminal. Window. We're supposed to leave at seven, okay. and. They delay us, and around 9.30, they're like, all right, we've got a window. Okay, let's it go. Stopped. Let's go. Let's Everybody, go. out, 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 and we're, so uh, we were go. You, were you eating oysters at the airport? No, no, you, no, no. As no. you tend to do? No, we don't. No, I don't eat oysters at the airport anymore because it's just so bad, uh, so bad for you. But um, 
<laughs> so I, I we get on the plane, and they ground us for two hours. Okay, so you're on the plane. I'm on the plane. You're so nine thirty, we're waiting for our. Um, and th- this is why I'm I was pissed at Canada okay. because um, we're we're getting ready to taxi. Mm-hmm. We're in line. Okay. And so they uh, were we're next up in line, but they divert us and they let a- another Air Canada plane go. And I'm like, what the fuck is up with this Air Canada well, shit? Another international flight. I, guess I don't care. Flights. I've. <laughs> I don't care. No, okay. When you're Obviously, on that plane right. and lightning's starting to strike around you, you know, the, the, the lightning's starting to come back. Okay. You're like, get Air Canada the hell out of here. Okay. You know? Right. I got to go. I gotta yeah, go this is us. Right. So, and they weren't, I don't even think they were delayed. They were the ones, they bumped them for some ungodly reason. I have no idea. Okay. So you. I, I, I can just see the uh, Air, hey, how you doing, eh? Here's an extra 10 for you to get me bumped up in the roster, eh? Right. Well, it worked. It did. And I'm like, and our cheap ass uh, Continental or whatever airline we were flying. You were on United. I was on United. Yeah. Couldn't duke them, uh, you know, 50 bucks. No. Son of a bitch. No, so anyway. But the problem is you're on the plane. It's on and the we're runway. on the tarmac. And they're like, and lightning striking all around us. So yeah. they're like, well, this is a 50,000 ton explosive just sitting out in the middle of a field. So why don't we go back to the, the runway? And so we went, we left the runway. Okay. We went back to our gate and we're at the gate for another hour. Okay. What time is it though? It's 11.30. It's 11.30. And we had to wait an hour before they let us deplane because lightning strikes were hitting like close. Okay, so eleven thirty p.m. Um, so that's your perspective. Yes. On ours, you start texting us like you're all pissed off, like I can't go as lightning. Oh, me and Brian are at the bar, like laughing at you, <laughs> like how oh, you can't get out, how you should have stayed another day, and how cool this, this lightning is. Like he went up to the roof and started watching it, but we're um. Yeah, we're we're laughing at you. we I think uh, that's okay. God uh, laughs at you both on a daily basis. Sure, but so. I think as the night went on, like we started sending you videos, and uh, like we we're, were down at the bar, like oh man, we miss, we miss you sort of. I, I hope you get out, but we're all we're we're, we're hoping we're, you die. Yeah, no, know. we never said that. Yeah, you did. Actually, no, I think we, I still we, have that tweet. Do you have a? Uh, it's there's from a, Brian. I know it's a tweet. I remember die. sending vid- I never sending a, like videos from the bar, going oh man, you should have should have stayed and partied with us. <laughs> We we felt bad. No, you didn't. Sort of, but yeah. all right. So how long is this drag on for? Uh, so we actually left at two thirty a.m. Wow. So at least you left. We left. Yeah. Okay. So uh, and the worst was the bathroom all backed up. No, 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 no. They let us off. Then we had to reboard. Okay. They let us out at twelve thirty. So we're like, son of a bitch. And uh, I, you know, I was like, oh my god, am I gonna am I gonna make it? Right. And so so two thirty. It's a th- uh, one hour back, three hour flight. So you get home what? Six thirty. Six thirty in the morning. Okay, yeah. and then you came right here. Yeah. And over in the store. Yep. Okay. That must you must have been in a, a, a pleasant to deal with that day. No, I was fine. <laughs> no, I was. <laughs> give me, you don't buy anything or white. Get out. No, that was not it. Oh, that's that's like, man, never what ha- me. What happened? That is never me. You know that. That's that. What that's an untruth, Ming. Right. Well, but despite all that happening, would you go back? Oh Houston? yeah. Comic oh, I mean, how many? What are the odds of that happening again? Me being stuck in oh, an airport very great. It, it's uh, Houston's is weird weather, like I know vortex it, where like just bad weather happens. But I go and and if I couldn't get out, I'd take a, a bus. And and for the record, it was like one of the worst like lightning storms in in Houston's history. Yeah, so, yeah. Actually, uh, there was flash <laughs> flooding, and there's no reason for me to complain because I was relatively safe. Right. But I think ten people died that that weekend i was like oh shit yeah you didn't that put did, your yeah that, did you die no that oh, put so your that put your day you in perspective about? i wasn't oh okay no you you guys thought i was complaining well i don't think you were My, happy as air canada is taking off before it's you air canada for to god's sake montreal and uh and you're stuck on the runway over that's at true george, george bush airport so yeah and <laughs> i think they closed down at like 10 o'clock so we couldn't even get food uh 11 somebody said here okay. on, uh, uh on uh, online here. Thank you very much. Um, I think it was Mike Mike Piscatelli. Thank you for the uh, the save right there. So, but you, you made it, you would go back. So, Count Kaluza, if you're listening, uh, Kerry Gordon, you're AJ listening. Spicer. That's actually pretty funny. The next day, a group of Canadians visited the stash. Yeah, yeah right. bus pulled up from Newark Airport. Yeah, I was like, hey man, we just flew in from Houston, man. Like, yeah, this is like, awesome. This is awesome. This we is bumped awesome. you Americans out of the way. Eh? Yeah, um, those poor bastards who are in the airport. Um. 
I gotta give a quick shout out before we get another sure. shout out for the store. Uh, Jack Welsh is listening. Uh, Jack Welsh, good morning, gents. Jack Welsh is one of our our, our amazing podcasters at uh, Shared Universe. Jack, how you doing? Um, he's got the Jersey Rejects podcast. Which oh, is, cool! Uh, yes, with Matt. Um, I don't know if you remember this, but uh, Jack actually came in the store. He's a Red Bank native. He lives here. Um, he came. He's looking for employment. He's looking for a job. Okay. He is a big comic book fan, pop culture. Gotcha. Um, I don't know if there are any openings here, but I said I, w- I would give him, a, I would vouch for him. Okay. Uh, I, you know, I, I am not hiring currently, but okay. you never know. Okay. So I, I, th- I say put him next in line. It seems dedicated. Um, plus, oh, okay. So we're going to pretend that Jack is Canadian and bump the other person online. Yeah, okay. I, gotcha. Well, I, I'm sure. just saying, you know, I don't. I, I don't mean to make, miss business and pleasure here, but you know, if Jack, Jack started working here, right? He gets he, you get paycheck. I imagine it's uh, we, we to, yeah we do pay here. people. It's pretty cool. I would say that f- that money would then be spent over at our studio down the street. So you know, you, I you would know, hope that he would pay rent business. and insurance and and food right. first. But yeah, I right. suppose. Hence, you know, by booking the studio. So I, Ming you know. Chen is trying to actually he's trying to garnish your wages, Jack. Yeah, so. I'm just saying there's no there's absolutely no conflict of interest here. Is what I'm saying. Oh so, yeah, sure. Okay. Yeah, no, Jack's a great guy. He's a big pop. Okay, cool. I, he, you um, know what? I I remember Jack coming in and, he, and shaking um, my hand. He spent many many dollars. Uh, he's got a Michael Keaton Batman suit. Okay. Which he said he would wear here for say Free Comic Book Day or any event or you know as part of the job. Just the, let's just tossing that in. Uh, Scott Hoverman. Sorry, Scott. No, you've been bumped by Air Jack Welsh. Uh, I thought it was next in line. Like, damn it. Oh, Scott. <laughs> would you hire Scott? Oh, hell yeah. Scott's got his own store, by the way. Three yeah. Love Comics. Big oh, Shadow. yeah. Don't worry about it, Jack. You know, Scott's not bumping you. Scott don't live here, though. Yeah, Scott don't live. But speaking of the store, big, 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 big news, big date, big anniversary. Yes. Yesterday. Why do you sound so shocked? I'm not. I'm just. Ex- I'm excited. Okay. That's you my excited. Shocked. That's not. What are you shocked. talking about? But no. Yesterday was it. our. Yesterday was the uh, very first anniversary, our one year anniversary of the new secret stash here at located at 65 Broad Street in Red Bank, New Jersey. Yes. Uh, this was our one year anniversary when we threw open our doors and said, "Come on in, folks." So February twenty second, twenty twenty one. Twenty twenty one. Yes. The doors opened. They did. Big grand opening. And no, no, we did not have. We had a soft opening, okay. and then we did the big grand opening with Jay and Kevin. Okay. On, uh, I believe it was March thirteenth. Right. So March twelfth or thirteenth, but uh, yeah, we did our soft opening. Um, people were allowed to come in. We were able to show off our shiny new place. Okay. Uh, the house that Ernie built. You know, um, very proud of it, and it's just gotten even more beautiful. If you, if you ask me, right? And so, uh, yeah, Kevin gave a big shout. Um, how so? How's the year been? Year's been great. Uh, we've had a lot of in-store uh, stuff with Jay and Kevin, and we're now expanding. Now that we're we've got you know our sea legs under us, okay. we're going to be doing uh, in-store signings with other people. Okay, and we signed our first guest to be. Um, to be, be doing an in-store uh, sign. Are you announcing it? I am announcing it right okay. now. Okay. Uh, uh, where's my drum roll? I, I don't get one. Okay, cool. Um, David Crownson, come on down. David Crownson, the author, the the genius behind Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer, will be doing a um, an in-store event, and we we he's confirmed. And Jules, do we have uh, the do you have date? A, do you have a date? Saturday, April 23rd, folks. Okay, from when to when? Do you have hours? From uh, when we open. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's figure from 12 to 4. 12 to 4, 12 to 5. Okay. So yeah, more will be revealed. But, yeah, we're I'm announcing it here first. Uh, can you give a quick summary of the comic? You don't really need to. The title no, Harriet, kinda, kinda, Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer. <laughs> uh, Harriet Tubman, itself. Uh, the... Um, yeah, the Underground Railroad. The Underground uh, Railroad. Yeah, I was going to uh, say. Uh, the, saved many lives. Yeah, yes. saved you know hundreds, if not thousands of lives. Right. Um, now she's also a demon slayer in this yeah. incarnation of her So life. David has put her uh, as a historical figure, but now she's a historical kick-ass character. So right. we, I love this. And uh, it's on. We're up to, uh, bleh, we are up to issue five, I believe. Yeah, yeah five and, or six. I remember um, I saw David at New York Comic Con as an artist alley. And he had all his books out, except he didn't. They're all sold out by the first day. Yes. And I'm like, what do you, dude? You got four more days left. What are you gonna do? He was like, 
I don't know. And I, I, I texted Mike. It's like, hey, you get any more of those uh, Harry Tubman? And it just so happened uh, by a weird confluence of events. I know events. a guy who needs some. Exactly. So a weird confluence of events. Okay. Uh, David was on the phone with me asking me if I needed any books. And I'm like, yeah, you know, pack me up. And uh, I, w- I was going to take all of his his titles, and I think I got like ten or fifteen of each. Yeah, thankfully. Yeah. And uh, he's uh, something happened in the store, and I was like, David, I gotta go. And I I hung up, and he sent them to me, and he sent them overnight. Okay. And they came the next day, and I was right. still putting out the fire from the day before, and they got they got. Put on the floor over here, and then stuff got piled on top of it. Okay. So I was like, oh, my God. I, I didn't get around to picking them up. because well, thank God you didn't because we yeah. needed them. And this is like we're talking like three weeks went by, and I didn't even notice yeah, that his but, box was still there. But it was actually turned out to be a good thing. Turned out to be it was Providence. I, we brought the box back because uh, it was Saturday at New York Comic Con. He had no stock. Nothing to sell except his his wit and personality, yeah, which is kind of like, well, if you want to order awesome. from you know whatever his website is, and I was like, yeah, oh, man, people yeah, have their books no, in their hands. So. It's it's a tactile world. So. I brought him down. So. And what? so Ming swung by, right. gave it to him. You brought him up. You saved the day. Ming Chen, comic book carrier. There you go. Just, Harriet Tubman, Demon Slayer, uh, David. and then I came back like literally maybe an hour or two later, gone. You're they're like Uber gone. Reads. Yeah, Uber Reads. Yes. Yeah. They're, oh, they're that's cool. Gone. Uber Reads. Yeah. Ming so. Chen can, uh, and you can put R E E D S yeah. and put a little gray on the side of your your hair. Yeah. So April twenty third, then Saturday, April twenty third. Mm. Come see David. Come see David. Yes. Hope hopefully you guys have enough books. Well, he's going to over- have to bring them. I'm hoping he prints enough. Okay, I would over order David just, you know, yeah. just to be safe. Well, that's, we we already talked to him about that and okay. you know. Is it cool that Scott Hoverman made the very first purchase? Is that true? Yes, it is very true. Wow. Okay, so I can put it up on the screen then. <laughs> Scott, Scott Hoverman made the very he first made purchase. the very first purchase here. Yes. And is it true on that opening day you married you remarried two people you renewed a vow? I did officially. I did. You can, uh, yeah, Amy Tucci, Amy and Darren Tucci of uh, Tonawanda, New York. Yes, uh, dear friends of ours, Pressing Matters Press- LLC. Pressing Matters, big supporter of a shared universe, huge supporter. Yes. Uh, if you and us personally, so yes. yeah, we consider them very good friends. If you have key issues and uh, they may have some some dings or dents and blemishes in them, uh, talk to Darren and Pressing Matters. Yes. Uh, he may be able to press those out for you, so you you can get those graded at a, at a higher grade. Damn and straight. And this Sunday is the one year anniversary of. Of my remarriage to my wife, who just happens to be our, um, you know, our assistant manager here. Uh, which I give us a wave, honey. Which I performed. So uh, which you performed. So is, yes, uh, that is online this you Sunday. Want, if you want yes. to watch it, it was, uh, it was pretty, 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 yes, that was, that was pretty funny. Um, yeah. So the year went well. Did, uh, were there? Did you? Um, what was the best part? Best part. Worst part. Best part of the year. Yeah. Uh, we're, uh, I'll give you the worst part. Worst part is we were supposed to open uh, February 1st. Okay. And uh, permits and you know, pan- bureaucratic pan- red tape. Notwithstanding. It's not a, it was not about the pandemic at that point. It was about just bureaucracy. Right. Uh, it just took us forever to get. Uh, what, what, I mean, what, wasn't the crack office here at Red and Red Bank just closed randomly? They would yeah. close on random days. Yeah. Like, so yeah. You, get the, and, you know, the I don't want office. Listen, I, I don't want to have them come in here again and be like, you know what? You're going to fail for for sure this time. I, well, I heard you your podcast. You know, I, you, you, don't you know how it works in New Jersey? You don't have them in your back pocket? Like, you know, you got a Tony Soprano up in here, up in here man. Yeah, that's yeah. that's not really. You used, yeah, you, you used to smoke the Stogies, or maybe you still do. You get, you're like, you, you know. Hey, like, hey. Yeah. Like, Frederick, come here. come here. Come here. Come here. Let me tell you. Let me. Let me. T- <laughs> let me explain the facts. Of life you need the permits you. now. Do you understand me? Now, not now. No, I need them today. Yeah. Today. Not tomorrow. Not yesterday. Now. Actually, I would have preferred them yesterday, that but that was the worst. Okay. Uh, best. best. There's there's so many really great things that happened. The uh, the renewal of vows twice behind sure. uh, over by the Buddy Christ. Right. Um. Kevin and Jay, they did multiple signings they here, did. and those days were fantastic. They and were it, it's fun. just great to to see uh, all the fans out there right. who support Kevin and Jay, and it's it's amazing. And support the Secret Stash. The reason we're still open is because people love to come here. Yeah. So speaking um, of Kevin, uh, he just tweeted this, I believe, yes. today. One year ago today, uh, yesterday, the Secret Stash at 65 Brewery opened to the public for the first time, following a two month build 
by Rick Darius himself, uh, Ernie O'Donnell. And next week, I'll have some big news to share about the next stage of evolution for the secret stash. Yes. Wow. That's kind of a teaser, folks, huh? Wow. Um, is, Stay tuned, is yeah. Is there anything, anything you can say about that? Anything at all? No. Okay. Not a word. Okay. Uh, time frame, dates, time of year, nothing. Nada. Okay. What I can tell where, you is... Where's the last of truth where you need it, man? What I can tell you... Well, I'm, I'm not going to lie to you. I just can't tell you what it is. Okay. Um, what I can tell you is year two is going to kick year one's ass. Okay. So, so. It's, it's, this is a good thing. It's on, boys and girls. Okay. So, so yeah. Bigger, better, faster, stronger. Yes. Guys. Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. I like it when Kevin teases things because uh, usually crazy things happen. Yes. Actually, you know what? I, I will throw out a couple of things. The uh, the Motu event, the Motu Revelation event. Okay, Masters of the Universe. Masters for, of the Universe uh, Revelation okay. uh, for the uninitiated. Okay. Uh, when it dropped on Netflix the first time, we had a, an in-store signing with uh, Griffin Newman. And what a what a great guy Griffin is. He was um, the voice of he Orko. He was the voice of Orko. Okay. And you may remember him if you have Amazon Prime and we're watching The Tick, which I know I do. Uh, he played Arthur. Right. One of the... Uh, one of the very uh, important characters in the Tick. Yes. He, he was actually the Tick sidekick. Okay. So, yeah, but he was just a swell, swell guy. Um, when Clerks Three was filming, we would have random people coming through here um, wearing masks, of course. Like um, Trevor Furman came in, and he, <laughs> I, we were sitting in. What was that like? We didn't notice him. We didn't know who he was. He just came in unannounced. He came in unannounced, and, what, and um, it was really funny because he'd come in right before our day of shooting. We did a, a couple of days of shooting, and we're sitting in the van with him, waiting, you know, outside of the the sweltering heat. Yeah, and he's like, "Yeah, I went to the secret stash the other day." <laughs> where you're like, and "What?" No, and um, yeah, I was like, "What?" And he's like, "Yeah, nobody recognized me." <laughs> and he's like, "I was so bummed." That was and a I'm test. Like, and I failed. looked at him and I said. Why didn't you come up and tell me you were there? He's like, who are you? <laughs> I'm like, okay, all right, well, I, I can see that we're having a little bit of a Wait, to rewind, you, you didn't notice that Elias was in the building? Like, granted, you've never met him before. And, no, uh, he, but he's you know, wearing clerks, a mask. He's wearing a mask, okay. We're, we had the mask okay. uh, policy in. That was another good day when we took off the mask policy. And okay. People came in and started screaming at us for you know dropping the mask policy. So can't win them all. Can't no, can't win any of them. So right. so and tr he didn't come up like one ring to rule them all. No, so. didn't say anything. Okay. And I was he's like D I think he asked me if we had dogma. And I'm like oh I'm so sorry, but you know your best bet for dogma is to go on eBay and try to wrestle it out of some some guy's hands. Okay. So the voice didn't give it away. No. The voice that you heard for two hours on Clerks Two. No. In 2006. So okay. No, it's not like it was Alice Cooper's voice. Right. Because if it's Alice Cooper, I would have known. Right, because he called the store ones. <laughs> he did. Yeah, not wow. this store. So was he mad that he's like no one? No, no, one no. Noticed. no. He like, well, he was he was a little crestfallen. Okay, and I'm like, dude, <laughs> I, I said well, you're wearing a mask, sure, and you didn't announce that you were there. Were there other customers here that could have also recognized him? Possibly, but you know, people are in their own worlds, especially when you're in a comic book store. Mm -hmm. There's so much eye candy in here that you sure. know you're not looking at people; you're looking at stuff. Okay. And unless you hear Kevin or Jay's voices, and you're like, "Holy crap, that's Kevin, that's right, Jay," right. you know, you're you're not going to notice Elias. Yeah. So. Okay. <laughs> not, I mean, Nobody maybe there are me. some people who would like, notice oh. Elias. I'm sorry, this, but what well, he sort of sounds like. Uh, yeah, I don't, I don't know who he, he sounds, sounds like. Him sounds like Elias. He, he sounds like Elias. Yeah. So yeah, I, I'm sorry. Yeah, I, I'm sorry, Trevor. I didn't recognize your voice. I just saw him. He doesn't forgive you. I, I he doesn't you. forgive. He's like you suck. He doesn't like you. <laughs> doesn't I like don't like you either. <laughs> like <laughs> you'll be dead. Yeah. So um, we're we're getting a lot of comments about what's behind us right here. And uh, Edward Edward von Bissenstein from Michigan is watching right oh, now. Oh, they mean the uh, the chia pet? Yes. Can you bring one down? Ch 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 are these, uh, what are these? These are pretty cool. You're good. I've never seen these before. These oh, are, these are uh, the Chia Pets. These okay. just came in, folks. The child. The child and in Mando's satchel. Okay. And it says in Mando's satchel. This is actually pretty cool. So it's the satchel that's the Chia part. Yes. Okay. And then you, you smear the Chia seeds. Right. And it grows, which is awesome. What's the, what's the retail on the, What's the action on 22 this? 22 bucks. Cool. 
And this is the child with... Um, oh, where, there are two of them? Yeah. There are two different ones. And this is one, him using the Force, but his... Um, he looks like Uncle Fester. Did you ever notice that? He looks like baby Uncle Fester. Oh, yeah, Fester. for sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With the, the bald head yeah. and the... Um, the greenish hue. And uh, Does Uncle Fester have the pointy ears? Uh, no, he okay. doesn't. Okay. No, Jackie Coogan said no to the... Uh, to the pointy ears. Okay. So, no. uh, are these for sale right now? They are twenty two dollars. Somebody want to call in? And, sure, uh, call me. Okay. Oh, we'll, can we sign them? If you order, uh, I sell comics exclusive. Uh, <laughs> we'll sign you know, them. You know how much shit I've taken over the years for you just signing various things. Oh, I would I, be I, happy to sign them. I would be okay. happy to have you sign them, but don't force it down the people's throats. Right, no, we. Will, I had to kick a guy optional. out the door one time because he was bitching about you signing stuff. Oh no, it was a whole online backlash uh, one time when we signed something that no one wanted us to sign. Yes. No, that was you, not me. I didn't sign it. Okay, yeah. So, uh, yeah, you, you, um, call the number. Seven, Don't drag me into your personal hell. 732 758 Good man. 229, plus shipping. Uh, 22 bucks plus shipping. Domestic only. Sorry. Domestic only. Sorry, Canada. And if you want to sign the That's box. That's what you get, Canada, for bumping my goddamn flight, all right? You're still mad. That was literally six years ago. <laughs> that was six years ago. I hold a grudge. You're, you're still no, mad. No, I'm actually not mad. I love the you're Canadians. Still mad. Well, congratulations. Well, thank you. Thank you very yeah. much. Yeah, you know, there are many people out there, oh, man, it ain't going to last a year. It lasted a year. I'm, no one said that. Nobody <laughs> said that. No, no, no. Not no one the, said that. Are you kidding me with the amount of blood, sweat, and tears we put into this place? Damn straight we're going to last a year if I have to go out and rob banks. Yeah, for sure. Um, <laughs> and and I've, I've got the henchmen to do it, too. Yes, so. yes for sure. Another thing. Yes. Big, big thing that's come about. Whoa, what's the trade paperback? Revelation? Yes. Masters of the, speaking of Masters of the Universe Revelation, folks, I have the trade paperback by Dark Horse Comics, and it's signed by Tim Sheridan and Kevin Smith, the writers wow. of this. Wow. So, Is this a companion? or is This it... is a prequel. Prequel, it's okay. It's a prequel to the Netflix animated series, and I got to tell you, I read it. I think it's fantabulous, and um, this trade paperback, if... I'm not. Um, this isn't QVC, folks. But I just want you to know that we have it in stock in the stash. Okay. Limited number. Very limited okay. number. And uh, we're selling it for thirty bucks. Double signed by Tim Sheridan and Kevin Smith. Okay. I, this in this incarnation, uh, I imagine only available here. Yes, I only available so. here. The stash exclusive. So very, very much. Uh, so. Set one aside. Scott Hoverman needs one. You sold one already. So ding. Again, uh, Scott coming to you know. <laughs> so Scott, you're not the first. No, but no, guess I didn't what? Think he was the first. I'm just saying we just sold one. Yeah. Like, within seconds of good, talking about good it. Good boy, here. Scott. You're the man. Yeah, master marketers. You're, you're looking at two master marketers here. So, um, uh, Scott, take uh, take that. Uh, Michael, Michael, ring you up. I one. will. Yeah. Um, we missed you at Pentacon, my friend. I know. We I'm so sorry. At uh, Mike Ensley did not invite me. Mike, Mike Ensley. M Mike Ensley invites over a hundred guests, and uh, sometimes you have to you have to uh, be like, "Yo, what? Uh, <laughs> I'll see you there?" Question mark. So next year. Yes. Okay. Question mark. The dates have been announced. Yes. Here, dot dot you, dot. Question you, mark. Do you have your phone. Put it in your calendar. February right. 2023. The dates were announced. Uh, nice. 24th, 25th, 26th. Last weekend in February. I'm there. In beautiful Pensacola, Florida. Oh, well, yeah, look at that. I mean, always a great time. I just wanted to give him and, and Julio and Steve Wise, and uh, I mean, there are a number of people I'm missing, uh, a big shout. I, one of the best cons out there. Barnett, you were there, 2017. Yeah, it was beautiful. We had a great time. Yeah, we, um, and with that many people they invite, you're, you're always guaranteed to have great neighbors. So We did. Uh, Kelly was with us, um, uh, Kelly Simpson. She's yes. awesome. But uh, we that's the infamous uh, tire photos oh, do I have that? i'll see if i can find it that, i yeah, think we, we i think i showed it up i time, i took uh photos with a tire because it, it, can you explain this really quick yes all right so like, what the hell so we had what? we both had um photo ops and it was really weird because we had together and then we had separate photo ops and i was like why the hell do we have separate photo right ops? it was like comic book men like no yeah i was like who's gonna want just ming or mike like, why not both of us yeah you know when and it was like the price difference wasn't it was like five bucks more yeah i know i was like okay. but 
but there are people out there. I, I look people who are very rabid Mike Zapsic fans. Well, like screw the other guys. Kelly I'm a fan grabbed of Mike Zapsic. Me. Kelly's like, come on, we're going down. Uh, you got a photo shoot, and we're walking in the bowels of the arena that okay. it was being held at, and I was like, and we're walking by, and there's a set of four tires, just there. What did somebody? They're they're just there on a wall. A set of they're four matching tires. Okay, and I'm like. Holy shit, this is pretty awesome. So I grabbed one, and Kelly was like, what the hell are you doing? And I'm like, well, this this is what you were doing. Yes. <laughs> That's what you were doing. I'm like, come on down. We're, I said, why? What are we you were, doing here? Uh, we were just doing uh, like boudoir shots with tires. So it was actually pretty fun. Okay. Yes, boudoir shots. It. Uh, so yeah, your and wife shaking her head. Like, I've what got some else, pictures dude? of Kelly, you know, uh, there with the she was doing, you know, like the uh, the spokes model. Like here you are, right? And Cooper I'm, tires uh, for yes. uh, or your what? I was like, wow, that baby really let himself go from the, <laughs> from whatever the Michelin commercial. <laughs> <laughs> like, oh my god, what happened? Seriously, oh, he's all scraggly. Yeah. So yeah, but that was that was a lot of fun. That was a highlight here, Pensacon 2017. No, no, we went out with. Um, we went out with Matt Ryan. We did, yeah. We, we went, went out to, with Constantine. Uh, yeah. We, John um, Constantine himself, Matt Ryan, and uh, uh, Deadshot. Yes. Mike um, Rowe. Yeah, Mike Rowe. Michael um, Rowe. I'm sorry, Michael Rowe. Yeah. Because there's a difference between Mike and Michael. Yeah. Just hanging out with the uh, superheroes. Yeah. Heroes, superheroes and villains. So, well, anti-heroes and villains. Yeah. So that should have been the, the theme of the weekend was anti-heroes and villains. Uh, but... Uh, Matt and I were getting. He's he's amazing, great guy. Mike, we had met, uh, we had met him at um, Jekyll Island Con. Yeah, and again, fantastic guy. We we were just hanging out, having a blast. Um, yeah, uh, Matt. We, we all wound up at McGuire's, the infamous McGuire's. If you're yeah. from the Pensacola area, and uh, yeah, shots of Jameson came out. And yeah, we went out. So Matt Ryan's, is he Irish or British or? I th- Think he, I, that Irish? says Irish, yeah. Okay, Ryan, name like sure, Ryan. Yeah, can't be that far off, but uh, yeah, it was fun. He was drunkenly talking about Whataburger. Uh, yeah, it was, it was, it was pretty awesome. Um, but yeah, we we need you back, man. Is what I'm all saying. All right, I'm I'm there next year, Mike. Don't forget to invite me. All we right? need you back. So I gotta give Sh- Scott Hoverman another yet another shout out on the show. But um, oh, his he, Airbnb. He, he read. He found this Airbnb out there, and you know, uh, maybe you've stayed in them, maybe you've not. And uh, usually, you know, you get a house or, or an apartment or something. But this time, he uh, he he went up. Uh, Excellent. He went up. He found this place. So uh, it it used to be a dive bar. This mm-hmm. place, and they converted it to a residence, but they kept the bar there, they kept the fixtures there, they kept the pool table there, they kept all the gaming machines there, they converted the office and storage spaces into bedrooms, and the, they retrofitted the bathrooms with showers and, and tile and stuff. But um, it was basically your own private dive bar, and uh, it, um, it was one of the most unique spaces I've ever stayed in. And yeah, I think you would have liked it. I think you would have loved it. Would. I'm. I have no doubt in my mind. I'm a. I'm a big pool fan. So. Yes. Oh yeah. Um. You know. It pool was, table. It still smelled of stale cigarette smoke. There is nothing. <laughs> nothing better slash worse than the smell of a bar room to me. Explain. It's, it's a. It's nostalgia to me. I mean, back uh, in the day. Okay, that's, that's the good. Part. That's where I hung out. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's. It's the. The smelling like puke. That's the. The thing that's like. Ugh. All right. Yeah. I don't need that. That I don't miss. Right, you can't really, uh, you can't get that smell out. No, uh, but you were hanging out with, um, you were hanging out with the Pump Up the Volume crew, one of your favorite movies. Uh, I was um, uh, at the con, uh, one of uh, Mike Ensley's favorite movies. So we invited some cast members, but uh, yeah, our friend Clayton, who played uh, Shep Shepard, Channel Six News reporter, but uh, Samantha Mathis, of who, course, uh, <laughs> plays the Eat Me, Beat Me lady. Uh, if you loved you're a fan her, of and she was also an American, uh, the American president. Yes, Aaron Sorkin, and uh, we nice. keep and uh, yeah, I keep forgetting uh, she was in Broken Broken Arrow with uh, yeah, she was with Christian Slater. Slater. That's Slater, right. So, uh, so is that yeah. your is that your impression? No, that's my Jack Nichols. No, I I can't do it. No. Oh, nice. You're playing uh, pool with Poison Ivy in the background. Yes. Here, let me good let deal. Me see if I can pull up the photo here so I can screen share it. But uh, um, 
Yeah, let me, I'll pull up a real quick photo over here. Just I gotta, I just gotta show you this freaking space, man. So that's, that's pretty badass. Cool, I gotta right? say, yeah, it's cool. So like they left the ice machine was still there, and it's a, yeah, it was pretty. It was a that's it, dope. That's actually really smart for an Airbnb to do that. Yeah. Um. So I think Scott booked it already for next year. So <laughs> Scott, I'm in. So there, yeah, there's 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 room for you. Oh, well, um, I uh, if Mike Ensley ever asks. I'm I'm waiting for my phone to ring and it's still silent. Are you friends with him on Facebook? I believe I am. Are you believe or you know? I will check. Okay, because that's how he's gonna hit you up. All right, good deal. Okay, unless you gave him your number. Did you write your you write your number on that tire and roll it to him? I should. That'd be cool. <laughs> or I'll get like a little uh, like a corgi tire and I'll just write my phone number on it. Yeah. Give it to him. Um, there was, uh, you would love that there was a '90s themed after party. You love the '90s Saved by the Bell. Sure, why not? Uh, you know the all the all the stuff from the '90s. Um, Young MC came out, did a live performance. Busta Move, do you remember Busta Move? Of course. Yeah. That's, um, but uh, it was supposed to be hosted by Joey Fatone and sings Joey did Fatone. Did Joey not make it? Well, he did make it, but uh, there, was, there was some miscommunication, and oh. um, he couldn't host the party, long story short. Gotcha. Okay. So, you know, when Joey Fatone has to bow out, who is next in line? Ming Chen. Uh, who do you think is next in line? Could it be, you know, Justin Timberlake maybe? No. Nick Carter. No, I mean there is no um, replacing maybe, Joey maybe, Fatone. Maybe uh, uh, one of the boys from O Town. Ninety Ming degrees. Chen. Uh, no, they. they I, got, I got tapped out with the nineties after party, which is like I was alive in the nineties, but that comic book men wasn't out in the nineties. No, but you were a fan. You're a fan of the nineties. You know, Clerks came out in the nineties, and I worked for the guy who made that. So you know, by some very loose connection, you were the was, host of. I was tapped to uh, to co- to host the nineties after party at the Court of Deluna event space. Uh, big shout out to them, Bethany Lauren. Um, so as the host, Mike, uh, you know, when there's a musical act, you uh, you get to go up there and introduce the talent, which was pretty cool. Like if you had told me in 1990 when I was 16, like one day you're going to introduce Young MC to a stage. I'm like, what? How? Why? Did he tell any jokes? No, he just said. Good. No, no, uh, you. Said, I said. Me? No, 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 no. Uh, All right. I asked his, his team, his management team, specifically, Is there, do you have any specifics? Like, you know, well, how, how do you want me to do this? Like, All right, go up there, pump up the crowd. Get him excited and then uh, announce. Uh, and now, ladies and gentlemen, Grammy Award winning uh, artist, Young MC. That was that was that part was very specific. I'm like, okay, I got this. So I <laughs> yeah, no, get up didn't. there, pump up the crowd. Ladies and gentlemen, Grammy Award winner, Young MC. And he he had this uh, he had like intro music. He had a whole intro. So it starts and then it died. <laughs> oh, he wasn't there, eh? Crickets. No, well, he played the music first, and then you know he was going to make a grand entrance and then start rapping. But uh, they played the, the, his intro started, and then it died. And so I'm stuck up there. I'm like, uh, "What's go- guys? What's going on?" And you know the AV team is scrambling. And I, I've been there. Usually it's me behind that board. You know, like right now, going, "Oh crap, what just happened? Why isn't this working?" Um, and then they motion like, "All right, we got it this time." I'm like, "All right, ladies and gentlemen, Grammy Award winner." Young MC doesn't work again. Oh dear God! And uh, so me you should have just pulled out your your phone and and played it that way. I didn't have the track though; it was very specific. Oh, okay. Well. Very, I have Bust a Move on my phone, but I didn't have his, like, his, <laughs> well, his whole set on there. You could have done it, but that's fine. Yeah, finally, uh, you know, we riff a little bit with the DJ. They play some music. Finally, they 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 assured me they had it this time, uh, and then they they played it. It worked this time. He went up, killed it. So no, no one even, no one even cared. No one remembered gotcha. except for me. But uh, what had happened was uh, he keeps his backing track on this this high end Japanese music device, and uh, yeah, I guess when they were plugging it in, they they shut it off on accident. Oh, okay. And they couldn't figure out what was going on at first. But uh, yeah, they got it. They got it. I had, I had no doubt. But um, yeah, so it, yeah, it was fun. Uh, the next morning, I walk into my table, and behind me, I was like. Hey man, that, great job! Thanks a lot. Thank you very much. I turned around; it was it was him. That's he awesome. I, That's cool. I guess he thought I did a good job. So, hey, I, 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 you know, I I didn't know if he was. I fired my entire team. I want to hire you. Right, right, right cool. yeah. Because you know, he after the thing, he left, so I didn't get to talk to him. So I didn't know if he was pissed. I didn't know if he was. I didn't know his mindset. How could he be pissed at you? I didn't know. I didn't think he was pissed at me per se. Just pissed but, in general. But just you okay. know, some people are perfectionists, and when it doesn't go off the first time, well, I imagine with him and even larger, more. Pressure, more pressure situations. Mm-hmm. Stuff probably went wrong even more. Yeah, you know, just things always go wrong. So, well, things go wrong, but when you when you're focused on them, it just seems it's like 
you know, when 10 seconds feel like 20 years, you know, so. Oh, yeah, but I was up there. I was like, yeah, I was like, I'm, I'm you know, I do you want me to tell jokes. I probably should have had one at the ready, huh, just in case something happens. So, yeah. Uh, what do so you got next? Cool. You got a list here. Got, I do. Uh, I'm, you I'm now you. I right. love it. Hey, man. So here hey, we man. go. Hey, let's... Man. hey, man, learn from the best. I know. That's true. <laughs> uh, here we go. Let's let's talk about this. Okay. We're going to talk about the uh, – we, we touched on it last week, but uh, I want your take on it. Okay. Uh, Death of the Justice League, which is going to lead into Dark Crisis. Okay, so we have an event coming up. We have a huge event. Okay. And um, DC Comics hasn't had a, an event in a, in a long while, in a couple of years. There hasn't been a crisis – there's been Heroes in Crisis, which okay. was not well received, and so many people are pissed still at Tom King for uh, the spoilage of Wally West. Okay, which, dude, it's it's a fictional character for God's sakes. But you know, I, I get hey, it. you know I you, you know how we as fans can. Guys. I know. I <laughs> believe me. I understand. Yes, you know the the one tear going down for Jean Grey. That's sure. I, I, I still remember that. Sure. So, uh, but. We've got a dark crisis coming up, but it's spurred by the death of the Justice League. So let me get your take on this. Okay, so the whole Justice League's been wiped out. N- no, a huge portion of the Justice League. All right, we're talking has the big, wiped. the big, the big hit. The Kahuna's. Okay. Yes. So um, one of the, uh, I think it's the Dan Jurgens uh, cover of Justice League. I think it's, um, I I don't know the the exact number, but whatever Justice League is the death of Justice League. It's got uh, coffins for Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, Aquaman, and Green Lantern. I think I saw that image. Yes, which is a riff on his um, death of Superman, you know, funeral for a friend back when, back in 92. Right. So this is actually really cool. But is this the actual death of superman and well, is it clark kent who's dying because we see connor kent and we see uh, john yes see john jonathan kent right uh in the the background of the players in on that cover right so we've we've got and they're showing you all of their possible replacements like okay. there's nightwing there's robin uh damian wayne robin right. uh i think there was red robin in there uh, so, and, and of course there's Donna Troy and, um, the new wonder girl. So we'll see what happens. Yeah. I might take anything. I see anything like coffins lined up, uh, death of anything. Yes. You, uh, um, Oh, uh, I, I think, all right, well, how are they going to bring them back? Because they have to you, bring them yeah, back you, you, or you don't know, they? You know, yeah. You know, you know, it doesn't happen like that. So, uh, I, uh, look who's here. Ladies and gentlemen, special guest, George Cormos from, uh, um, should we do an unwrapping? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. from Revere then Framing. I gotta, then I got to go park because uh, <laughs> you double park. Okay, we'll wait for you. Right, we'll wait for you. We'll wait for go park. Go yeah. park. Go park. Quick, open go it. Park. Uh, George from Revere Framing of Middletown, uh, where we get all our frame, our po- anything of value that we need framed, either for here, the studio, or our personal lives. Uh, we use George. Even Damn straight. Um, I believe every time I go in there. George is like, yo, tell Johnson to come back in. I got his, I got his shit here. Yeah, <laughs> you know, I, like, I mean, like you know, like thousands of dollars worth of framing. He yeah, hasn't picked it up. Yet. He's like, yeah, there's, uh, you know, I I put off my kids' college to do this for for Brian. Yeah, for sure. You know, so yeah. yeah. So that's my take. I always, I was like, how are they gonna bring him back? Because yeah, I mean, like it's, I don't know. Anytime I see death of anything, I I I, I hear the I hear the cash register. Of right course, like, but let's, let's I be think honest here. just me. This is just me. I right. think that this would be. A bold step, and I think it'd be really cool if Bruce Clark and Diana went out uh, in a blaze of glory. Okay, like oh the yeah, the biggest, the biggest of the big. Yeah, and there's no, there's no back door, there's no uh, emergency escape hatch, nothing that okay. these guys can can do. Because I remember uh, hearing that when they killed off Barry Allen in Crisis on Infinite Earths, right. Marv Wolfman put a, a back door. There's, there's a possibility <laughs> for somebody to, you know, resuscitate Barry should the need right. ever arise. Personally, I would love to see them close that door and be, like, next to impossible to open it back up. Okay. So. All right, he's back. Come on in. All right, come, come on, on in. in. Jump on in. So uh, uh, we explained, uh, yeah, you, you frame come everything in. in our lives, whether it be a store right or whatever. Well, that's good. And, you can um, stand up. I can stand. And 
I, I love that you dropped this off. Like, can you, can you drop my stuff off too? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, no, I'll go get it. We'll go get it. But here, can you put George, it up? I want you put it up to, here. to unwrap this. I put it up. Unwrap. Put it up. You are the so man because I want uh, you to show everybody. This looks like what about sixteen by 20, eighteen by twenty four, perhaps, uh, George, or how, what's our dimensions uh, here? Eighteen, yeah, eighteen by. I don't know. Right, so this is an item for the, <laughs> Why not put them on the spot? We Ming. trimmed it, so uh, we trimmed it because we got rid of the white space around it, so it gave it a nice finished look to it. Okay, is this for you personally? Or is this for the yes. store? Okay, it's a personal Mike Zapsic framing framing job, and uh, the, the suspense. Yeah, that's not mine. Sorry. There's uh. So which one is which first? Doesn't okay. matter. Oh, it's two. There are two does pieces. Have UV glass on it. Here. Look, oh, you are so sweet. You didn't have to uh, do that. Is that the Okay. Uh, the first one. Start with fr with part one. First. All right, the menagerie part one. Menagerie, Star Trek. One. Wow. Okay. Um, where? Give me the history of this. All right. Where'd so it? this came in uh, a roll of uh, four. There were four separate um, Star Trek that they did Mondo style. This isn't Mondo, but it's Mondo style. Right. And it's. I thought they were really cool when I saw them in um, when I saw them in previews. Okay. And they were limited. And these are impossible to find now. So uh, I've had these for about, God, 10 years? Yeah, I think it said 93 on them. Okay. Yeah. But that, I think they made them uh, in 93, and they were in a warehouse for that long. <laughs> oh, and so, they were unearthed? And they were unearthed. Okay. So, yeah, they, they do that every once in a while. Right. Uh, previews has like, hey, hey look know, what we Ratchet. found. Yeah, look what we found. They did that with uh, John Byrne portfolios. Yeah, actually, it happens right. around here all the time. She was like, "Hey, we yeah. found some Quick Stop shirts from yeah. for two hundred like, dollars. You could have the whole warehouse. We can sell them for a buck." Yeah, yeah. no, <laughs> that that's like the old, uh, the uncut wacky package. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Or a but this was rocks. really really cool, and uh, so George and I, I I took them over, and I know George is as much of a, a tracker as I am. Yeah, I am. And I said, "Hey, George, I gotta uh, let's make a deal." Let's make a deal. Okay. So uh, I said, "I'll give you two if you frame two for me." Oh, really? Yeah. And That's a great his two favorite, and I got. I, I actually, if I had to pick, I would have picked those two. Fantastic. Well, the only ones that we both agree that they didn't do yeah. was "City on the Edge of Forever." City right. On the Edge of Forever. Was it Mirror Mirror was in there? Or? No, no Mirror Mirror, Mirror. and okay. Mirror Mirror. Those oh, yeah, are the two that okay. we would have fought over. Okay. But these two, um, these two are my favorites, and George got. Actually, his two favorites. Spock's yeah, uh, brain. Spock's brain. Wow. This was really cool. That's yeah. cool. That's badass. Yeah. And we did the dry mount on these two to get rid of that curl. So. You are the man. So I could have chinsed out and just put it behind glass with regular glass, but. No, not, at, my, not at Revere Framing. Never, never, never. Never. You know. Honey, so, these yeah. are going in the toilet. <laughs> That's awesome. You get, you get to, this you get is to awesome. stare at Nimoy when, when you're doing your business. Wait, are they really going in the bathroom? Oh, no, wow. no. Okay, no. I, I, that would I, be horrible. I wouldn't. Beautiful. I wouldn't. I wouldn't right. blame you. That's really, really nice. These are beautiful. Look at these both. I would, I would love a pop culture bathroom. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Which uh, instead of you know, hey, Q-tips. Oh, and or how about the toilet seat is the captain's chair? <laughs> <laughs> that would be awesome. Thank you. That's uh, that's uh, that's awesome. Make it so. He just, he just had number one. He just had the uh, number two. Uh, just sitting in the in the captain's chair, right? Or that was C.J. Yeah. Cullen, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, there's a uh, so it depends on if. Uh, oh, if you, thank you. I thought these were oh, edibles. No, no. Oh, 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 <laughs> yeah, right, don't eat yeah. those. <laughs> no, and, those won't uh, get those won't get you high. To hang these in tandem, I should go one more for, uh, one step further. I, I wired this up for the for the layman's way of doing this. Okay. If you want to do that, and, and those are those are hooks. If you want to hang them in tandem straight, uh -huh. you hang them this way. Oh, beautiful. And this and this and these hooks are the exact same way on the other one. Oh, fantastic. So you just make sure that your math is correct and your measurements, and you put your hooks in, and you go boom, boom, and they're perfectly level. will never – Math they're hard. Not, they're not no gonna, math. They're not going to be level. Math hard. I've no. seen Mike, Mike <laughs> hang stuff. They're not going to be I level. I do a nice job, though. I mean, they look cool on the walls, but, yeah, I leave a lot of space to be desired. And, and uh, real quick, George is a podcaster as, as well, uh, Framed in Jersey. Check, yeah. out, check that out. Yeah, Framed in Jersey, yes. Uh, and, and I apologize. I'm not wearing my, my uh, 
shared universe. My, you know, You're not I've supposed been, to. I've been sporting the winter hat, which is super, super comfy. Well, I mean, uh, come on, George. I don't, we don't make is that the one with the quality. the uh, yeah. the ear laps? No, we don't no. have the ear flap. Okay. Yeah. No, no, no. This I've got one that's uh, folded up, and I got one that's just a small brim on. Yeah, 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 for sure. Thanks for bringing this back, man. Yeah, my, thank my you so pleasure. much. Appreciate excellent, it. Excellent work. So I'm, I'm Great going, job. I'm thank going you. to Bolt. All right. Cause okay, I'm, get out of here. I got yeah, because he's uh he's. I can just imagine her getting towed. Well, there's another, there's another story, and, and I, I said it. Uh, Red Bank f- flipped around. He was coming around to, to. He's like, if he's still there, I'm, I'm taking. Oh, the five zero. Yeah. yeah, the five zero. Just That's tell right. him you're with us. They yeah. like us here, man. The, the cops. Don't, don't do that, man. Cops right. like us here. Oh. People, thank you so much. Thank I'm you, so George. Yeah. Guys. And thanks so much. Thank you. Yeah. I the only, this the only time. The only time they didn't like me was when, it was when I broke into the store once, but that we'll save that for another day. Yeah, that's a <laughs> different podcast. So, um, George Cormorth, everyone. George yes, Cormorth. Yes, thank you, George. Yeah. Let's talk about your favorite comic book right, last right. week. This one came out last week. I wasn't here, but uh, Nightwing 89, uh, entitled The uh, the Sons, World's Finest Sons. Mm-hmm. So Nightwing and Jonathan Kent getting together. Uh, there are superheroes being, being killed and, around the world, and... Uh, they team up together to use their powers to solve this crime, solve this mystery, and skills, and skills. And uh, I, you know, I, I don't want to spoil. Well, sure. I, I mean, they, they kind of, they put, they do the math, the forensics. The trail leads, uh, not shockingly, to, uh, to, to, to LexCorp. I'm going to show you like last panels. Not like really. A, a, t- a spoiler here like who would you, who else would you think suspect when of course when uh when heroes are dying so these are more minor level superheroes but still still um there's some cool flashbacks here though of uh of the first meeting of uh of uh nightwing and uh Jonathan Jonathan. And, awesome and uh you know how sometimes uh even clark kent needs batman's help to uh you know maybe track down his son when he goes off flying and he gets lost or something oh, yeah. and uh yeah, well, what do you call the world's greatest detective? Exactly. Yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. Well, although Clark's not a bad detective himself, being an investigative journalist. Right. So yeah. let me. But, let me uh, Tom Taylor, art oh, yeah. by Bruno Redondo. I've been uh, loving Tom Taylor's run on Nightwing. You know, I'm a huge Nightwing fan. Yeah, you got me in. You got me into this. So I, I absolutely. So I have you to blame. Yeah. Hell, <laughs> I, I learned, and I'll, I'll accept the blame gratefully. I learned it by watching you. Yeah, that's right. Uh, here, this is the top five books this week. Oh, top five. Okay. Yes. Okay, number five. These are the hottest sellers this week, and they're going fast, okay. folks. So, uh, number five is DC versus Vampires, number five. This is a does not ever uh, disappoint. It is uh, James Tinian, the fourth. Um, art by, actually, James Tinian and Mitch Rosenberg, yes. isn't it? But I'm saying, who's the, uh, yeah, they're, they're. Who did the main pencils on this? The main pencils on this is, I mean, I got to do my homework these days, folks. I'm sorry. You know, the problem is, that, why don't I just put them in big, bold letters? I because know. I care. I actually care. But it's the James problem. Tinian, okay. the fourth, and um, Can you read uh, Matthew that? Rosenberg. No, because, and, and again, they're, they're, they're screwing with me, people. Yeah, so co-written by Matthew Rosenberg. Yes. The great Matthew Rosenberg. So this Rosenberg. is uh, just like Scott Snyder and James Tinney in the fourth yeah. about, oh, eight or ten years ago. So this is pretty cool. Otto Schmidt. Okay. And, oh, uh, <laughs> what the hell was that word? Uh, Simone DeMeo. Simone DeMeo. Yes. Great art. Love it. Uh, but they never disappoint. Yeah, uh, it's a twelve issue series. Uh, I definitely pick up the first the first four before this yep. one. Um, yeah. yeah, yeah. So the, with the vampires, it's kind of like, it's the, the the thing they're trying to track down was a vampire who's not before your freaking neck gets bitten. Yeah, of course. Um, and if you're if you're a superhero, you have that much more of an advantage over and everybody one, else. Right now, one by one, the DC superheroes are getting turned into vampires. Yeah. That's the basic gist of it. It's pretty. Uh, it's, it's like the Lost Boys. Meets the thing meets DC. It's yeah, cool. meets I, I meets yeah DC. Do Perfect. you like all three of those? Great, because there you go. They're they're wrapped all right, up. All right, number four. Number four is King Jita, hungry like a monster. Number one, one shot, and Kaiju. this is this is uh, very much, and uh, this is by Marco uh, Fontanelli. Oh shoot! I just talked to the guys at Scout Comics. Uh, this um, is a Scout comic. This is amazing, and. Mm, 
I've been trying to do a couple of uh, new things here at the stash, which is uh, broaden our horizons as far as the smaller press goes. Right. Um, and oh yeah, he's I been mean, geez, scout, a great great pick. Yeah, they, great big fans of scout this comics. Is fantastic. I mean, look at this. This this is very. Um, I think Stabity Bunny. Um, I yeah. think they published our friend uh, Tart, our friends, uh, uh, our friends uh, Kevin Joseph's Tart. It, this is very funny, and it's actually very um, Ed Piscoris esque. Yeah. Actually, uh, if you look online, it just gave Scout Comics a shout out too. Yeah. So yeah. So <laughs> all right, number three. Number three is Carnage Forever. How can you not love Carnage? Uh, this is Johnson, Templeton, Salazar, um, the All Star crew. I mean, the the artwork alone is amazing. It's Philip Kennedy, Phil, Philip Kennedy Johnson. Edgar Salazar, Rachel Rosenberg, and VCs Joe Sabino is the letter. Yeah. Very nice. Um, and there are three stories in this. Also, Ram V. Salvador La Roca, a great artist, by the way. Rain Barreto is the colorist. And Joe Sabino. Joe Sabino is all over this book. Uh, and then, um, what is this? Funnies by Ty Templeton, who did everything. <laughs> That's awesome. Uh, Ty Templeton, who a man may, of many talents, he he um, rose to prominence in the '90s yes. doing Justice League, right. and he's he also did a lot of the Batman adventures. So yes. that's pretty cool. Number two, number two uh, is Ghost Rider. Number one, all right, uh, Johnny Blaze is back. I believe so. Uh, Johnny Blaze is back. Plus, I think is this a five ninety six ninety nine like super? This, this is, is a, a super thick book. It is a five ninety nine book. I think okay. it's like. 60 pages. I believe it is. So or 38 pages. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is really, I believe really Johnny cool. Blaze is back on a motorcycle, not a car. Not yeah, a although there was the car on one of the... Um, the variants? Variant okay, okay. So, yeah, this is really, really cool. Wow. Benjamin Percy, Corey Smith, Brian Valenza, and VCs, Travis Lanham. VCs getting all sorts of shit going on. Uh, Corey Smith's pencils on this are pretty amazing. They're pretty damn <laughs> badass, man. All right, number one. N number one is Aquaman. Oh, -ho. <clears throat> number one. Aquaman. So we got Arthur Curry, but Aquaman. We also have, we also have uh, Calderam. Uh, Aqualad. The who lad is, is back. Yes. And we've also have, we also have uh, them facing down Orm. And if you know anything about the... Uh, Aqualad, Calderam, um, Jackson, uh, I forget his, I think it's Jackson Hyde is his uh, surface name. Yeah. Uh, it, he's pretty badass. His, his parents didn't want him like around water. Or well, that his, worked out, didn't His it? adopted parents. That worked one. out, didn't Yeah, it? exactly. I think they had him in the desert. Yeah. They, they raised him in, like, Arizona. And, uh, thank you. Just a little <laughs> podcast. Uh, there are a million and one varying covers for Ghost Rider. Well, yep. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. That's true. But <laughs> and, I've got, and, like, and five yeah, of them. You're, yeah, because you have unlimited shelf space. I know. Of course. And, why wouldn't I? And, and um, enough budget to buy all of them. Right? Last year, I will say this. Last okay. year, I lost about... when During the move, we lost about a third of our shelf, shelf space. space. Yeah. Yeah, one full third. So it's it's challenging. Like you should wear like a jacket where you can put the books just the, in the pockets. Back and, yeah, 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 you know, like, like all mobile, pockets around me. Yeah, you know? and like your pants too, like cargo pants to the comics hanging out of them. Yeah, yeah, I can. And during my lunch, I can just uh, put myself on one of the spinners, in one of those bases, and people just spin me around right. while I eat my sandwich. Yeah, tater cool. tots. Yeah, yeah. I, I like this. The, the, the top five. Yeah, we're gonna do a top five from here on in, man. Uh, that's How awesome. awesome is that? That's awesome. Yes, um, up here on the racks where it says new this week, can you put a thing in there? It says like, you know, pick, top five pick of the week. Maybe? Yes. Yeah. I saw comics. I saw comics top five pick of the yeah. week. That's what we'll cool. do. And then, yeah, they'll go flying off the shelves. Like, well, but yeah, I saw comics says it's good. Yeah. Those it guys know what good. they're doing. Yeah. I'll, I'll read this. <laughs> I'll read this. <laughs> you got it, man. Yeah. I, yeah. Cool. Because we, uh, we, it's not just good. It's good enough. You got it, yeah, boys and our, girls. Our stamp of approval for sure. But <laughs> is it making us money? Yeah. There you go. Uh, real quick, uh, Stranger Things, are you a fan? Yes. Uh, season four, details just announced. Right, poster. season five is the end, yeah, which season unfortunately- Season four, broken up into two parts. Interesting. Yes. Uh, season one, five episodes, or part one, five episodes, part two, four episodes. Okay. Interesting. Yes. Um, I read the reason why today. There's, uh, I guess um, that they, the uh, the pandemic, you know, kind of pushed everything back, but uh, they wanted- 
they're longer episodes. Okay. And they didn't they didn't want to go right straight through with all nine, so uh, they wanted to break it up a little bit. Okay. Yeah, I think like something like eight hundred pages of script. Uh, I I don't know how long this thing is, but uh, I'm I'm here for it, man. Cool. And speaking of Stranger Things, yes. happy birthday to uh, Millie Bobby Brown today. Yesterday was her 18th birthday, I believe. I think it was yesterday. Yeah. Uh, and you know, she was all over the internet, uh, sporting some really um, flashy wear. You remember meeting her when she was like 12? I do. Rhode Island Comic Con. We were uh, we were going to a panel or something. She's going the other way. We're yeah. Like, well, we're like, holy crap! Because like, <laughs> come out. You're a 12 year old girl wandering around in the bowels of what are you of doing? A what are you doing? Convention like center. We're like, we're like, no, we were we didn't want our, our we Mike Mike didn't want to piss his pants, so. But she could have made him piss your pants, you know. Oh yeah, to, I gotcha. That, I'm like, what? All right, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 okay. yeah. You're like, I what are you gotcha. talking about? Yeah, seriously, dude, <laughs> that's yeah. so inappropriate. But uh, we stopped and we're like, hey man, oh, we, we, we're, we're huge we're fans. fans. Like, can we find Mind if we take a picture? She's very nice. And, yeah, uh, we're from uh, comic book men. She's like, what the hell is that? Man. Yeah. Um, I, and yeah, what's that smell? We were out by the dumpsters. Right. It wasn't your pants. You didn't no, no, it didn't piss my pants. It was nice. Yeah, I'm excited. I fight. I well. There's there's an asterisk on that like you know, last season to season five they're gonna do spinoffs. Come on, I would man. hope so. Yeah, it's a cash cow. Like of you course. can't you can't do you know the adventures of Will Byers. Yeah, coming right. 2024. The adventures of Uncanny X Men number 134. That was the bet. Mr. Yeah. Clark's world, like <laughs> learn science and uh, yeah, Mr. Clark the teacher. I've, uh, I know our I friend know Randy know. Haven. So yeah, the backstory of Bob. I would I would watch that. Sean so would Aston. I. Oh, Sean Aston, I. You kidding? Sean's such a sweet guy. I'd, I'd watch him uh, shop. I think that'd be actually interesting to right. watch him shop, right? Or for groceries, or walk for three movies to throw a ring into it. Into yeah, people did lava. that. So yeah, did that. So I mean, yeah, why <laughs> and not? why not watch him walk pushing a shopping cart? Yeah, why not? Yeah. So, uh, all right, cool. But do you, you have anything coming up this week, this month? Uh, free comic book day coming up in May. Yes, May seventh. Yes, I believe. Yes. Mark your calendars. Mark your calendars. You're going to want to be here for. You're actually uh, going to do something here. No, we're going to. Yeah, story? actually, we're, Just, we're going to do a lot of things here. Okay. But we're also going to do uh, May the 4th. May the 4th. So mark that ca on your calendar. May well. the 4th. You want to be in Red Bank on that Wednesday. Okay. Which is New Comics Day. So. Yeah, for sure. Um, and then Kevin's teasing something. I don't know. He said, what do you say? Next week he'll reveal it? I've got a secret. Now you know. I do know. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I don't know, and I, Sorry, I'll folks. be around for the announcement like everybody else. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah I know. I I, tr I don't like being a dick. Right. But and then uh, still every was it every Monday and Tuesday twenty five percent off back. Yes, issues. up until um, March fifteenth, honey. March fifteenth. March fifteenth. Okay, so you got what two more, three more weeks. Three more weeks. That. Yeah. So twenty five percent off all our back issues, and we've got some. We got some great ones. I just bought an Iron Man collection about a month and a half ago, no. and I just bought some uh, some really cool uh, X Men. So all right, yeah. get get in here. Get, get in. The, get to the store. Get get here fast or get out of the way. Right. Also, Chia Chia Yo Chia, Chia Yoda. Baby, baby Yoda Chia Gro Chia Grogu. Yes. Why wouldn't you want one? You need one. What the hell does that mean? Chia Grogu's got to be something in, in like, um, I don't know, Portuguese. <laughs> it probably is. You That's just, probably, you just, I, I probably just insulted an entire probably, nation. You probably did. Chia Grogu! And it's like, what the fuck what, did he just wrong, call me? What, what's wrong with him? Oh, my God. Yeah. My um, grandparents did nothing to him. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks for getting me back from wherever I was. You got was him. Yeah, that was here. awesome. Yeah, for sure. And, uh, yeah, and. There you go. Satisfaction is awesome. Man.